Hi future scientists, this is Mom M and I will be your Science Saya mentor in Science 8 for today. Science 8 Unit 1 Module 2 The Newton's Law of Action and Reaction In Module 1, you have learned about Newton's first law and second law of motion. Can you still recall how the first and the second law are applied? Let's review. Directions. In your notebook or paper, write inertia if it refers to the first law and acceleration if it refers to the second law. Number one. A small toy car and a big toy car, when pushed with the same force, the small car will accelerate faster. Number 2. The use of seat belts in vehicles to safeguard the passenger from being thrown forward when a sudden stop occurs. Let us check. If you answered acceleration for number 1, you're correct. If you answered inertia for number 2, that's also correct. So here are the things that you should remember. Force is a push or a pull. Force can produce changes in motion. It causes an object at rest to start in motion or a moving object to stop. In module 1, you have learned about Newton's first law and second law of motion. First law of motion, it is also called as the law of inertia, states that an object at rest will stay at rest or an object in motion will stay in motion and travel in a straight line as long as no external net force acts on it. It shows the relationship between the force and motion. A more massive object which has more inertia is more difficult to move from rest, slow down, speed up, or change its direction. While the second law of motion is called the law of acceleration, it demonstrates the effect of forces on motion. With the formula, acceleration is equal to force or net force divided by mass. It shows that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force acting on it and is inversely proportional to its mass. It is nice to know that you can still remember the applications of the first and second law of motion. Good job! Now, we will proceed to our next lesson which is the third law of motion. In this module, you will understand that when a body exerts a force on another, an equal amount of force is exerted back on it. Specifically, this module will help you too. Number 1. Explain Newton's third law of motion as the law of interaction. Number 2. Explain why action and reaction forces do not cancel each other. And number three, apply the law of interaction to falling bodies and to activities like walking and swimming as well as jet and rockets. The Newton's Law of Action and Reaction Have you ever wondered how do birds fly? Well, they actually use their wings to push the air downward and the air pushes back on the birds upward. This force keeps the bird in flight. This is the beauty of Newton's third law of motion. For our first essential question, what is the third law of motion? The third law of motion is also called as the law of interaction or law of action and reaction. So, what is law of interaction? 
Law of Interaction is the Newton's Third Law of Motion. What does Law of Interaction states? Law of Interaction states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For example, when you push on a wall, the wall pushes back on you with a force equal in strength to the force you exerted, just like this one. When two objects interact with each other, they exert forces upon each other. For example, when you sit in your chair, your body exerts a downward force on the chair, and the chair exerts an upward force on your body. So we have two interacting forces here, the action force and the reaction force. For our next essential question, why action and reaction forces do not cancel each other? Forces that two objects put on each other are called action-reaction force pair. Either force can be considered the action or the reaction force. When a force is applied to an object, the second object exerts the same amount of force on the first object. For example, when you push on a wall, the wall pushes back on you with a force equal in strength to the force you exerted. Just like here, when you exerted 100 Newton on the wall, the wall will also exerted 100 Newton back on you. This shows that whatever you give, you will also receive. Action-reaction forces do not cancel each other because they act on different objects. Forces can be cancelled only if they act on the same object. And for the last essential question, in what real situations can we apply the concept of the third law of motion? There are a lot of real-life situations that we can apply the concept of the third law of motion. But here are some. One very good application of this is when you walk or run. When you walk or run, you apply your force backward against the ground. And the ground applies a static frictional force forwards against you. Next is swimming. There are two interacting forces here. Action force is when the swimmer pushes the water in the background direction. And reaction force is when water exerts a force on the swimmer. And the rockets. In launching a rocket, there are two interacting forces here. The first one is the action force the force of hot gases that pushes on the rocket. It is the downward push. And the second one is the reaction force, the force on rocket pushing on the gases molecules. It is the upward push. Now, let us summarize. Remember, forces always come in pairs. Forces are equal in magnitude but opposite directions. The amount of the action force is equal to the amount of the reaction force. The direction of the action force is opposite to the direction of the reaction force. Though equal in magnitude and opposite in direction, forces do not cancel each other because they act on different bodies. So, let us check your understanding. Try this. Complete the action-reaction pair by describing the reaction force. Number 1. Bat hits ball. Number 2. Man pushes car. And number 3. 
bus hits bug. The reaction force will be ball hits bat. Number two, car pushes man. And number three, bug hits bus. Did you get it correctly? If yes, good job. If no, don't worry. Don't worry, you can rewatch this video and try to answer this again. Letter B. Give the action reaction pair in each picture. For the first one, we have athlete and medicine ball. For the action force, ball hits the athlete's hand backward. And for the reaction force, hand hits the ball forward. For the second picture, action force, foot pushes the floor backward. Reaction force, floor pushes the foot forward. Did you get it right? If yes, congratulations. If no, don't worry. You can rewatch this video and take this practice exercises again. For our next module, we have Science 8, Unit 1, Module 3, Potential Energy, Kinetic Energy, and Sounds. For more videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.